welcome to today's vlog it will be about us to moving out the story behind the studio where are we going how much was the rent for this place what is the new place rent and just some tips uh, for you if you want to find new place to start your business or if you want to expand your business so i hope this video will be useful however right now we are kind of in the middle of packing so i i think i will pack and tell you the story it's a little bit of mess so let me introduce this was our beautiful studio before uh, it has the entrance over here and over there we were doing the procedures it had much more beds over here now we're all packing and this was my pretty studio for youtube right now it's kind of empty so the story how i end up having this place as was first when i was starting out my career my business i uh, search on groups for renting like beauty salons beauty places and I found this studio that offers a bed over here this was my bed before and the rent was about 15,000 Taiwanese dollar per month so let me calculate how much is it in US dollars 15,000 Taiwan dollar and then after I guess two years I of course increased my uh, clients and the girl who was renting this place she actually renovated this whole place and I think there was two partners who were renovating this place later on she offered me to rent the inner room which is just you can close up you can be on your own and you can have the two beds over there the rent for the inner room for this room was 25,000 Taiwan dollar, which is in USD. I guess I'll put on the screen so you can see it. However, after several months of rent of this place, the girl who was renting this whole place, suddenly she said the partner, her partner wants to quit. She found another business on her own. So this girl, she can't afford the whole place on her own and she wants to give it back to the main landlord so we kind of ask her kind of ask her if i could rent out from her the whole place and just keep the place which is 80,000 per month this whole place but the thing is the problem is if I'm going to rent this whole place, of course I need to have another girl who is doing the procedures and I still need to film my YouTube videos which are here. However, when we have a lot of people over here, it's too noisy over there. So the studio is super beautiful. It has amazing view and the area is so nice. Right now it's dark, so you cannot see it. So unfortunately, we decided to move out from this place find our own the cheaper place a little bit even bigger than this one the area might be not so popular but still it's fine and the other place has the separate rooms but still needs renovation however every room can be closed and there's not so much noise over there so I think it is going to be a better decision I hope, hope so but on the other hand I'm so sad that I have to Kind of give up this place but unfortunately i think the rent eighty thousand per month is a little bit too much if i'm just going to be one person here so i also want to introduce the kindies she actually now we are partners and uh how the story started is she was my student before and she reached out to me <laughs> don't have to mind we're kind of in a rush because we need to pack, but I still need to record this video. So she reached out to me that she wants to help me in anything she could. But she was not a beginner. But I mean, if you are a beginner, but if you want to improve your skills or you want to uh, be better, faster, you can reach out to any artist who already have experience and you just want to offer maybe even for free 
your help. So that's how we started with Candice. She really wanted to help me out, even don't need to pay. So, so of course I was thinking, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good idea. But actually later, because she was so passionate about this work, I saw she really does amazing eyebrows. So that's how we become partners after that. And now everything we do together in the studio, the new studio, we will also do together. So I feel like I'm not alone anymore. And also it helped her in her business and uh, uh, having more clients and of course improve her work a lot, hopefully. Yeah. So I think it's a good tip, so you just can reach out to any artist, offer endless help as much as you can. Reach out and tell the artist that you can be really helpful uh, in anything the artist needs. And then I think that's also one way how you can start your career, I guess. So first I signed Philly Slash course and that's why uh, that's the first time I meet Slash. Yeah. And I'm so really stunned by the techniques. That's the definitely I never see before, and I so that I improve myself very much. Also, I still need to practice. It's not just you will become a master after the course. Yeah. yeah so keep the time going, and about after half years, so we we've been like connecting and stay in touch for a whole time. And then, I don't know why I just asking, uh, maybe we can cooperate or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how we start. So kind of to sum up how all these things started, of course I was renting before cheaper studios, just uh, beds, also one bed and it in salon that was even uh, very old fashion and I think my clients sometimes so my clients were really confused why with my skills I'm doing in such a bad places before so of course I started also with something really low and uh, slowly going up so it's a journey you don't you don't have to worry about this too much you can start at your home for instance I, I didn't start at my home though I already from the beginning, I was looking for nail salons to share the places with. I was searching on the groups, Facebook groups. I was asking my friends. So I think this is the better way to start. And then you can start with a cheap rent, maybe not so fashionable place, but then slowly once you increase the clients, once you have feel stable about your income, you can change the place to a better one. And then from the better one of just renting one bed, you can change to your own studio to renovate your own studio. And that's how it is the natural way. So yeah, don't stress out, just take it slowly and it will naturally come to you. Of course, if you're doing the eyebrows good and if there's a lot of clients coming in. Also in our studio, because we have a separate rooms, so for instance, we can rent them out to new people who are doing eyelashes or they're doing nails, and then they can uh, share our brow services, we can share their nail services. So they still will belong to our beauty slash brand, but they, for instance, will be beauty slash nails or beauty slash eyelashes. So not only they will have their clients, but they will have our clients. So I think it's going to be great. But for this place, since it's all in open space, the area is not so big, although it's really beautiful. But the only my concern is the entrance to our new studio is a bit older and the building is a bit older it's more private but in taiwan i think it's fine because in taiwan kind of all the buildings are more older it's hard hard to find super new buildings here if you do rent the new building it's going to be over eighty thousand taiwan dollar and up for, for the offices. So that's the only disadvantages of the new place, but let's see, let's see how it goes. And for the new studio, we are thinking to still keep the princess uh, look for our design, but maybe in the procedure room, we will keep the colors cooler because when you take the pictures of the clients, they won't look so yellowish on the phone. So that's the only idea we had in mind to make the room for procedures cool tones but 
I think the main room will be similar to this one. They will have a crystal light, some, some frames on the wall, some mirrors. But on the other thing, we are also thinking to make it as cheap as possible, not to spend too much time on renovation because we don't know in the future if I still will be here in Taiwan or it's better for me to move to United States where of course all my followers are, all my students are. I want to focus on teaching. So of course here I can't really teach uh, due to my Chinese. I'm not so perfect at Chinese and my main followers are not Taiwanese, they are from United States. So as I mentioned about Taiwanese factories, the only reason why I'm staying here is because the factory for Nanoflow needles are in Taiwan. The people who are making these needles, I just love everything about it. The, how careful the work, because I've been working with Chinese factories before, it's so different. It's like you never know what will come out. But in Taiwan, you know the quality, you can see all is clean, all is clear, the packaging, the delivery, the communication, the factory environment, everything is just, it's just super great. So the reason why I'm staying here is because we have some projects for the future that I still need to see how they do. So we have idea about new needles that are for the shading. So these are for microblading. And then we want to make the needles for the shading. The needles for the shading, they will be different from the regular needles for the shading that are on market. So it's a super good idea that I have. So we have things to do in Taiwan and I'm just uh, excited to see how it will turn out. By the way, let me know in the comments uh, which situation you are in, if you're renting the place, if you're renting the room, or just a bed, if you're sharing with anyone your story on how you deal with the th situation right now, or, and also let me know where you want to be in the future, how you see your ideal future. I'm just so curious to, I guess everybody, uh, can read the comments and can see each other's stories. It's going to be quite informative. guys on next Monday's Learn with Beauty Slash. However, not in a new studio yet. So maybe we'll take one month uh, to show you the new studio. And don't forget to try our Nanoflow needles.